This is kind of an obscure one, guys. It's by George Harrison. It's called Art of Dying. And uh, I'm a big George Harrison fan. And when I picked up the uh, 50th anniversary for uh, All Things Must Pass, uh, I discovered all these great demos, right? And I did one, uh, I don't know, a few months ago for another tune. And uh, this song is really interesting to me because the final version that's on All Things Must Pass is just rocking. And I think both Clapton and Harrison are playing those great lead breaks and it's got the big production and everything. But again, on this 50th anniversary was discovered these demos. And this was an acoustic demo for Art of Dying. In fact, it's actually labeled Art of Dying Day 2 Demo, Take 1, <laughs> okay? But it was so kind of intriguing, kind of dark and moody that I thought I'd go ahead and do it for any other Harrison junkies that are out there, okay? So let me explain how he's doing this. We start with an E minor chord and you want to use your two middle fingers for this. And we're placing the pinky on the third fret on the B string, right? And then we're going to slide that down to the second fret. Uh, and then finally to the first fret and then open. So that's how you have to maneuver that. And then first finger. And of course that technically makes three different chords, E minor 7th, E minor 6th, etc. Okay. So the beginning of the demo is slightly cut off like we're missing like a strum and a half or a couple of strums. But basically what he's doing is he has this pattern happening in the right hand. Right, down, 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 up, down, up. Now he's moving this finger on that last upstroke. Like that, okay? So you get that anticipation on each chord. And he does that all the way through. Once again. And then take the pinky and place it into the second fret along with your other two fingers on the G string. Again, hitting it with that upstroke and then let the pinky off. So now we have. Metallica chord, uh, E minor ninth. So I'm on the second fret on the A string and the fourth fret on the D string. And when he strikes it, it sounds to me like he really uh, goes for that open G string up on that upstroke. And then he kind of brings the other strings into it. to say was the D string. <laughs> he emphasizes the D string. But nonetheless, he opens the chord up and really lets it ring out. So then he starts the whole thing again, but he only moves the finger the first two positions, from the seventh to the sixth. And then he plays a C chord, and uh, a C chord with a G in the bass. And then we go to a B7, and then back to E minor. So these are the verses. What we just played was the intro, and this is what he uses for the verse. Again, we've got that first movement from the minor seventh to the minor sixth. Then C, which you can see he sits on it twice as long. Then to the B7. For the same amount of time, and then finally E minor. Then you start it all over again with the seventh to the sixth, okay? So the verses are played like this. Then he's going to go back to the B7, by the way, and the E minor. I'll play it for you. It's pretty easy to uh, see what's happening.
see that second time around, he doubles up on the B7 to the E minor. And as a note, those chords are more or less being hit on the downstroke, right? Um, you can emphasize them if you want. But he starts doing it pretty loose. You know, it's a demo, and of course you want to keep it loose so it sounds kind of nice and not too mechanical and repetitive. And then we move to the next section of the song uh, where he brings in an E7 chord, which you can see on the screen, and then he's going to move to A minor, and then finally B7 again, and then back to E minor. So this section is played like so. Pretty simple tune to play, and uh, but very moody. And uh, uh, the music, the chords, and the way he does it really fits the uh, rather philosophical lyrics, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's kind of obscure, but do check it out. Uh, the demos on the 50th anniversary, again, of All Things Must Pass, are really, really good. I'm not usually one for those, to be honest, you know? I like the final recordings, but uh, the demos are intriguing, to say the least. So. Again, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys soon.